Yo yo, this is Dover Black Hat Gaming. I do RPG games like Elder Scrolls and Fallout and many more. Subscribe to see more and enjoy the video. Have you found something? Good, good. Does it say where he may be headed? The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's... one of us. Find Arnbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. And then, send that jester's twisted little soul to the void, in as many pieces as possible. Oh, it's ancient. Apparently one of the first sanctuaries in Skyrim. It hasn't been used by the Brotherhood in close to a hundred years. If you say Cicero has gone there, it stands to reason that he's familiar with the place. That means you'll be fighting him on his own ground. Tread carefully. I took that prancing fool into my home, and this is how he repays me? It would be better than this. What happened? You look... distressed. I'm sorry this happened to you. Let's go. Oh, and if you need anything, just let me know.
Huh. I didn't know there was another one of these in Skyrim. Yes? What did you need? Okay. What now? Growing up back on the island, I barely left the castle. Most of my knowledge from the outside world came from books. However, most of even that is sadly out of date, by at least several centuries. Talk about a fish out of water. That's why I need you to show me around this wonderful land. Be a good guide for this old relic. I tweaked my shoulder a bit in that last one, but I'll be fine.
Who's there? me. I surrender. No, <laughs> oh, you prefer to listen, eh? Of course, of course, the listener listens. <laughs> a joke, a funny joke. <laughs> I get it. Then listen to this. Don't kill me. Let poor Cicero live. I attacked the strumpet pastor, and I did. And I'd do it again. Anything for our mother? Return to the pretender. Tell her I'm dead. Tell her you strangled me with my own intestines. <laughs> but lie. Yes, lie. Lie and let me live. Cicero has no fight left. In the end, Sithis will judge us both. <sighs> Do what you will. Cicero has no fight left. In the end, Sithis will judge us both. Yes? Do let me know if you need anything. Keep your guard up. Cicero could have placed traps everywhere. Are you sure about this? All right. Just be ready for if he goes berserk. Yes? What did you need? Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what. Why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? There's just one more target by chance heard of the gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the gourmet. You should report to him.
Right then. There you are. Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astra told you about the gourmet, I hope. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. You know, maybe I was wrong about you after all. Anyone who's smart enough to shut up and listen can't be all bad. In my, um, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. Uh, but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the Keep in Markarth. It would seem he's the cook. I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan. Who the Gourmet really is and where he can be found. Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the Gourmet, of course. But what's more, you need to get his writ of passage, so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. Uh, nobody knows his true identity. Well, nobody except Gaius Morrow, and <laughs> you've already taken care of him. Well, I do know the Gourmet was classically trained in traditional Breton cuisine in High Rock. So, that's where he must have met Anton Varan. In any event, our anonymous chef shares a passion for food with all of Tamriel. And that anonymity will prove the Emperor's undoing. Uncommon taste. It was published a few years ago, and became a sensation throughout the Empire almost overnight. The recipes were hailed as both practical and decadent. I made a few of the gourmet's dishes myself, actually. His roast mutton with regard berry sauce is to die for. But his chocolate pate gives me the runs. Yes, Gaius Morrow, on orders from his father, arranged for the Gourmet to come to Skyrim months ago to serve as the Emperor's personal chef. But the Emperor cancelled his journey at the last minute. Morrow was smart. Kept the Gourmet around, in case things changed. And so, the Gourmet has remained in seclusion, somewhere in Skyrim, on indefinite hold. Probably feels like a prisoner. <laughs> But you'll fix that. Remember, the Markarth Keep. That's where you'll find Anton Varan. Probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes, passing them off as his own. Brother? Believe it or not, Festus likes you. He senses your power. Your potential. Follow his instructions to the letter, and you may even earn his respect. Represent us well, brother. Yes? What did you need? Is everything all right in there? That's good to hear. So, what's our next move? Give me a moment. Okay. Okay. Oh no. It looks like they're going through with this. And it looks like you're going to be the one doing the job. 
But impersonating a famous chef? I... I don't think you're the type. You're not a good cook. Just being real here. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell icon. See you all on the next video. Enjoy life. And stay. <laughs>